Welcome to Stateside Species Overview, where we give an overview of the species that we sell specifically for you, the ant keeper. This is Fidoli bicarinata, the common big-headed ant. These ants are some of the fastest growing, most entertaining ants to keep that we have available. Fidoli bicarinata are known for their major workers. Major workers have larger heads used for defending the colony, breaking open seeds, and chewing up pieces of insects. Now let's get into what these ants eat. This species is very generalist, meaning they'll accept a wide range of food items. However, most ants need both carbohydrates and protein. Carbohydrates to keep the workers fed and protein to feed the larvae, which makes new workers. Fidoli bicarinata is no exception. However, they are different in the sense that they can use seeds for both. But it's recommended that you still give them lots of insect protein because they won't grow much without it. The recommended diet for this species is at least two different types of seeds as well as insect protein. Ideally, there should always be a pile of seeds in the nest that the ants can eat from and insect protein should be provided at least twice a week. As the colony gets older and has more brood, you'll want to give them more protein more often. The seeds that we recommend for this species are listed on our website, but mainly they love smaller seeds like sand lovegrass, evening primrose, Kentucky bluegrass, etc. While there are other seeds you can use for these ants, I don't recommend using any others, especially if they have any dye or chemical casings. It should also be noted that Fidoli bicarinata can live without seeds and simply live off of uh, sugar such as sunburst but seeds are much more reliable. If you want, you can use both. As for protein, these ants are very generalist. Fruit flies seem to be their favorite, but they can eat other insects and will do so happily. These are also ants that will grow very slowly or not at all without any extra heat, so you can't really keep them at just room temperature. Use a reptile heating mat or heating cable to heat part of the nest. If you're keeping them in a test tube setup, remember to only heat the front and not heat anywhere near the water reservoir because this could cause floods. When using a heat cable or heating pad, always make sure it's applied to only part of the nest to create a heating gradient. One side should be heated while the other should be about room temperature. Obviously, make sure these ants are in a nest that has a water source to keep it humid. They're small, so they'll dry out quickly. Large colonies of this species, despite being relatively easy to achieve, are super impressive. It's not uncommon for colonies to have giant mountains of pupae and large granaries full of seeds. These ants are currently available at statesideants.com, so come get them while you can.